Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Um, I'm just doing a really quick video to test uh, my new setup. It's been a while since I posted a video, and as you can see right here, but this is my MacBook Pro. Uh, so I went over from Windows to Mac for my music stuff, and so I'm having a great time exploring that. Um, and I still have some wire routing to do, I, I can see. But um, I wanted to show you something about the uh, Argon 8 that I ran into recently, I thought was cool. And um, the 2.0 firmware is out, and I actually have the 2.0 firmware on here, but I'm not going to show 2.0 features because uh, Modal has a webinar tomorrow, and um, I'll just let them, you know, out of respect, let them show their own features, and then uh, later on I can go into more detail about them. So um, let me show you something that I realized that I didn't know. Um, maybe everybody knows this but me. But one of the features, or one of the parameters that I never really explored that much was spread. I use spread very often. If you hold a note, you can you know, change it. But let me do, um, let me set up something. Let's just do something with some square waves. So you can hear it nice and loud. Let's add some, a little bit of phase mod in there. Get kind of a sound like that. Okay, now, Spread, if I hold the note and turn this, so here you get this nice phasing effect, right? The thing I didn't realize about that was that it's polyphonic. So, um, you know, you get that spread is on every single voice. But the way I've always used it is you would, you know, hit a chord or something, and I would turn this up or down, and I'd find it a place that I like, and then I would just use that for the voice. So let me add some release on here. So just something really simple like that. And then when it's on nothing, you just don't have that same kind of smeary sound. So well, smeary, I don't know what. Detuned would <laughs> probably be the more accurate term. So it's detuning the voices. So what I did was I thought, you know, what happens if you take the mod envelope and just assign it to spread, since this is something I never really did much of. And so this is on spread of 30. Slow down the attack time. Let's add some release onto the mod envelope. So now, check this out. Now if I hit that and then another note, they're each coming into the spread, so each one of them. So now you can make chords and things where they're all doing that at the same time. So you get that kind of phasing effect, which is nice. Or I think it's nice. I'm going to add some uh, filter onto this just to see where we go. Just going to play around with this. So just that one parameter can kind of get you into some different sonic territory. So let me play with some waves. Um, actually, yeah, let's go, let's throw in math. And uh, math, I like minimum is one of my favorites. Min, okay. <laughs> that sounds kind of strange. And I have the negative envelopes. Let me see if I can get this to be a little... <laughs> trying to control I always get a little confused on the reverse there we go just trying to slow that down So anyway, you get the idea. You can play around with this. Get different, just get different tones out of it. Oh, a lot of resonance. 
Okay, I think I'll stop there. Um, I think the first voice actually sounded a little cooler. But but anyway, I wanted to try this new setup uh, with my Mac and uh, just, you know, get one out there and I'll be recording more videos in the future. So thanks for your time, everyone. Uh, take it easy. Bye.